Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to just use all um, drugstore products to get ready, so I thought that I would go ahead and film a get ready with me. Um, I have already moisturized my skin, and I just applied the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. I really like this stuff, and it's great for aging skin because it really helps to lock in your moisturizer, so really, really loving that. Um, and then today I'm going to use my Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. So, um, but first I'm going to grab for my um, Pixi under eye corrector because I have some really dark under eye circles and Pixi just does a really good job of concealing that area. I like to toss this on under my eyes just to brighten. And you only need to tap this brush in there very, very, you know, slightly. It's a very nice emollient type of product. Whatever is extra you can carry on your lid. Just like that. So, um, really, really love this Pixie. This is the color called Brightening Peach. So, whoop, Pixie. Really good stuff. And then for um, my foundation, like I said, I'm going to go in with this Rimmel. And my dog is now snoring. I hear her officially. She is as loud as she normally is. Um, this foundation has really good coverage. I have to be really, really careful with it because um, sometimes it can have more coverage than what I like. So I try to center it where I need the most coverage, where I have like redness on my face. And then what I do is I sheer it out because this is, it's just got really good coverage for a drugstore foundation. I really, really like this stuff from Rimmel. And um, how I like to apply it is using a dampened beauty blender sponge. I use the one from Real Techniques. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and dampen it because um, I've been sitting here and I haven't used it in a minute. So you can see the coverage is really good on this. use this real technique sponge to disperse it and like I said I just really try to just sheer it out a little goes a long way with this one so I think you could really if you need full coverage which I never completely do full coverage anymore um, because I feel like it really accentuate I can't speak accentuates my fine lines and wrinkles on my face so um, I really try to keep everything pretty sheer but this stuff sits on my face really really nice Okay, and so for under eye concealer, what I love to use from the drugstore is the, oh, I just dropped, sorry guys, dropped my um, concealer there, um, but the, the one that I like to use the most is the Maybelline Age Rewind, so um, why is it that I can only find this one? Oh, here it is. I use the color light, and I just like to... Take this down a little bit under the eyes, just a touch under the eyes. I try to be really, really careful because the more products that I get under my eyes, the older I look. So I try to go real easy with it like that. And I do not use it on the rest of my face to brighten or anything like that. And I will use my Beauty Blender to press that into the skin.
Okay. Anywhere you need brightening, you can kind of carry it down as well. It's a really nice um, concealer. So that's all I do with that. And then what I like to do is just make sure that I've pressed everything in under my eyes good where I don't have any you know funny crepiness and then I will use this elf high definition under eye setting powder and I use the smallest amount of this whatever I have like I hate this stuff though the packaging it's awful they really need to do something about this packaging um, absolutely terrible packaging so um, I will just grab whatever I end up in this sifter thingy dingy here and then I tap it all off into the lid. Really tap it off. And then I like to go ahead and set my under eyes with this. And then um, sometimes I have to go back in a little bit and grab a little more. I still, there we go, that's better. I was still feeling a little, a little tacky there. So that's just the under eye setting powder from e.l.f. It's the high definition, um, high definition under eye setting powder. So once I have my under eye set, I like to go ahead and move on to my brows. I'm just going to use this Milani um, little brow kit thingy. I like this. It has like a little plucker in there, little tweezers, and then you've got the colors to choose from. I can choose the lighter color. It even has like a little mirror here so you can kind of like see what you're doing. But I just like to fill in on my brows where my hairs are kind of sparse. I need my mirror for this. It just kind of does a nice job just filling in hairs here. I also really love the, um, the pencil from e.l.f. The um, taupe pencil. So once I have this product set down. I do like to go over it with, um, which is one thing that I really wish was in this because I just think a spoolie is so, so necessary. So I just grabbed the spoolie from my little elf palette, um, little elf eyebrow pencil because it's really good. All right, now I do have a little spot right there on my brow that I'm gonna have to go in with my pencil because the powder's just not enough. And so I will just use this e.l.f. pencil in taupe. And as you can see, it just fixed me right up. And then I'll just do that. And then what I have been using lately to set my brows is not drugstore. Normally I go for the NYX, um, Control Freak, but I got this eyebrow gel here in a BoxyCharm box from the Brow Gal, so it's like the only product here that I'm going to use that's not actually drugstore. So, um, just a really good product. So, to, for my eyes today, I'm going to go real simple, guys, and um, you'll see really quickly how simple this is actually going to be. I'm just grabbing for Wet n Wild Brulee. And I am just going to toss this on my whole lid here. Just super simple just to have a little 
base down on my lid and then I am going to use the bronzer that I'm actually going to use on my face. So I'm going in with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer here and I'm just going to toss this onto my eye and up in this crease. Just doing it with a fluffy brush because it's fine. I don't need any major um, shadow at all today. Keeping it real simple. So I just go ahead and use my bronzer like this. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and use the bronzer as well on my face. I've got so much stuff sitting here. And I'm going to just bronze up my skin. I love this bronzer. I have another one. Um, this one's in the color called Light. I bronze, put a little bronzer on my cheeks too because if I'm out in the sun, guess what? My nose and my cheeks are bronzing too. So um, I'm not really looking to contour here guys. I am just like bron like I said, bronzing up the skin. So that looks good. Love, love, love this butter bronzer. For blush today, I'm just going to go ahead and grab for um, I'll use this Milani, this is the Tea Rose Powder Blush. I really like this color, it's really pretty. And put it to the backs of my cheeks. It's kind of going to go with the theme I'm going to put on my... So pretty, super pretty. So um, I want to quickly stick a little bit more bronzer, I just noticed, up on my um, temple there. I am going to have a hat on at my son's game, but I like to have bronzer in my temple because when, you, when your hair flies back, you, you know, you just look so pale there. So I like to, and plus my, my forehead, let's face it. It's, it's a forehead on fleek, seriously. <laughs> so my daughter would be like, Mom, why are you quit saying that? All right, so um, for my inner corner highlight on my eyes, I like to use this Witness White from, this is from Rimmel. It's the Scandal Eyes, and I just toss this in this inner corner telling you guys super simple I am not going all out today so just the bronzer on the eyes a little bit of that on the um, the inner corner I'm not even gonna line my under eyes but I am going to apply mascara this is the essence lash princess I really like this mascara it does a nice job of coating the lashes and um, Give some lengthening and some thickening to the lashes as well. So, just going to apply. I'm all, I keep looking over in my mirror here, guys. I'm not. It's just really hard to not to use the mirror. So nice heavy coat. And then a little bit on the lower lash line. There are so many good products at the drugstore. Okay, 
so mascara's on, eyes are done. Now, um, whenever I do my face super simple like this, I do like a small little bit of a highlighter. So the one that I reach for most often is the one from Essence because it's super, super natural. This one here called Essence Pure Nude. It's just the most natural and it's, I just always, always like how it looks. Never feel too overdone when I use this. So I'm going to toss a little bit of this. See what I mean? It's just subtle. It's really, really pretty. You're just not, you know, when I'm going out to the baseball games, I'm not really looking to to be too uh, wild and crazy. So yes, just a little bit, just a little bit on that cheekbone up there. And I just think it looks so pretty. Now these lips look pretty funky, but um, the lipstick I'm going to use is from Wet n Wild. This is the Liquid Cat Suit. I don't normally like liquid lipsticks, but I met my best friend, my best little product uh, that goes so well with liquid lippies. I'll show you. So I'm just going to toss this one on. This is just Rebel Rose from Wet n Wild. And then on top of Rebel Rose, once it dries, I like to give it a second to dry. While it's drying, I am going to grab for my um, setting spray. And I really love this one from NYX. This is the Dewy Finish setting spray. Just a couple of sprays of that. I love that stuff. And so my lips are feeling pretty dry at this point. The... Um, the lipstick is this stuff. This is from Pixie. This is called Lip Icing in Cake. And it just goes so nice as a lipstick topper. I just think it adds just enough to make the lips look nice and juicy and it's got a pretty sparkle to it and it looks really pretty out in the sun. So that's it guys. That's what I do, um, you know, when I'm trying to keep my look real simple and um, like I said, baseball game, I don't need a whole ton of makeup on my face. So I hope this was interesting for you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.